Ah, it's lovely. It is. We saw some, uh, some great places. I've heard a lot about this place from my colleagues who are on the uh, video editing side. Oh. I think it's really interesting. There are, there are a lot of different people from different backgrounds, so different approaches to the, to the problem of, of video, from creation, distribution, you know, monetization. So you know, seeing all those different points of view is, is a really interesting thing. Um, to be honest, it's, it's a brilliant job. So I get to do two things. I get to help people distribute their content. So, so build a solution that allows you to you know, do catch-up TV, do video on devices, um, and, and really get to, you know, wherever there's a screen, put that video and get the quality from, from that video. Importantly, these days, you know, people also start thinking about you know, where they're making their money from. So monetizing that video is an important part of, of what we do now. So getting it there, getting the quality on all those screens, but being able to monetize that afterwards and actually make a business, a proper business, out of, uh, out of that video content. There's a reason why Flash has been so popular in this area. Um, historically, we were you know, one of the few technologies that allowed you to get the same quality, the same experience on all those different devices. Today, most video is still um, desktop based. So you know, Flash there still has a, a, a strong following. As things start to move to different devices, Android phones now have HLS, um, Apple obviously have uh, HLS on their devices. So we've moved our technology to allow um, Flash capabilities, but in a native way on those devices. And in fact, you know, we've, we've given a lot of our Flash technology, animations, those kinds of things, to the uh, W3C to enable them to become part of HTML5 in the future. Yeah, so today, HTML5 actually confuses a lot of people. Now, HTML, it's new, it's new. It, it's new, but also, I think people have an expectation that it can do more than it actually can. So today, for video delivery, you need more than what HTML5 can, can give you. Now, obviously, using HTML5 and JavaScript, you can build a lot of stuff, but you're into the same old problems of you know, different implementations of HTML5 run differently. That's exactly the problem that Flash was first invented for. So you're, you're correct. So today, Flash, Silverlight, those technologies still have an important part to play. Over time, that will lessen. So HTML5, as, it's, as it grows you know, more mature, as it grows um, a richer set of capabilities, and indeed, as, as I said, you know, we're giving um, HTML5 mm -hmm. some of our Flash capabilities, yeah. it, it will be able to do the job now that we have to have a separate plugin for. But you know, th that's a few years away. Today, you know, really, if you need quality, if you need proper video, you still need a plugin. Yeah. So um, th th there are a number of things there. So actually, you know, Apple and Adobe are, are, are a lot less at loggerheads than, than, than people think. Um, they didn't allow plugins into, into their browsers. Um, on iOS devices, obviously, the, the, there's no Flash, Flash player. In fact, most of their applications you know, the, are air-based. Mm -hmm. So in fact, they use a tremendous amount of our technology. It's in air, so it's packaged as an application, but underneath it's still, it's still Flash technology. So really, that argument is, is more about marketing than it is about the reality of, uh, of building applications.